All right, so it is Monday, February, whatever, early February. So I'm here, it's 9 a.m., it's 9.07, getting a little bit, uh, got here a little bit late, but uh, let's see if we can find something, if we, see if we can't turn this day up uh, around. I have a feeling that we're gonna get something good today, uh, especially when we head down south. I think we got one here. And sometimes you just get real lucky. Looks like today is the day of finding eyeglasses. Not bad. All right, so I just got into the car and I was checking out this paperweight and it appears to say the Bon Marche. I don't know if that's in Paris or in Seattle. And I can't really read the name. It looks like Aslo, 1991. I don't know. Y'all, your guess is as good as mine. I'll have to look that one up when I get home. But that is definitely a nicer paperweight. All right, so I just went left one of my favorite places, and I got a few vases. Nothing looks too promising. I didn't see anything in this one. There's another one. I don't see anything. This one could be a decent one. They'll probably pay for the vase. It doesn't look all that promising, but we got some more stuff here. Are little skull guys? I can't tell what those are. That looks like some sort of busted up pendant. That's definitely bone. Yeah, I don't know. That one's all not all that promising either. You gotta spend money to make money. This one might be something. You had a bunch of little bracelets and such going on there. Really good vase. And let's see if I can show you something in here. Let's see, a bunch of pins, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, that right there, you can see it's marked Sterling. It's like a pin right here. Let's see, got the Green Bay Backers pin. That's a it's got to be a sterling silver uh, filigree brooch. That right there, I don't know if that's bone. Can't really get a good angle on it yet. We'll see about that one. Um, what else we got in here? There's quite a few things I saw. I was getting... Oh, that's another filigree silver one. This is going to be a good one. We're going to have to hold off, though, because I've got one, two, three, four five in the back so i've got six now plus two at home that's eight i really gotta start putting these out all right well, we're gonna head out to another place and i'll uh, see you later and then what else we got in there this is a pair of sterling silver Let's see it says sterling silver let's come down they're opera glasses that is just a beautiful on the nice sterling chain. That's a decent, that's a dandy right there, man. That is a nice one. So put that one in there. And then we got one other thing to speak of while we were in there. And that's this gold filled cameo necklace, which is really pretty. That's that's a that's a nice one too, buddy. All right. Oh, and last but not least is a antique Trifari brooch. It's an older one, though. Decent. I think everyone had those ducks. That's a pretty cool booth. Love one of these things right here. Little stands. Maybe not for 300 bucks, though. Who is that? Mm. R.I.P. Wow, there's a lot in there. really cool
can get this for my wife if it wasn't 44 bucks. Mother Earth. Little amber teething bracelet. Alright, so I just left the last place, the antique store, and so let's run through what I got here. That is a sterling silver ring, I got it for five bucks. Uh, that in there, that little, uh, I gotta test each one of these stones. I don't think, they think that's aquamarine. Uh, that's 14 karat earring, got that for two bucks. Um, that's another two dollar one, that's tanzanite. Um, those are all like single earrings. Uh, 14 karat gold. Not sure on the stone on that guy. Uh, there's a stone in this one. Or, I mean, sorry, there's a single earring in that one I paid two bucks for. And then there's the 14 karat gold necklace. I got that for 30. Uh, each of those is 14 karat gold pearl earrings. Uh, I paid 30 bucks for all those. And then in this one, I got a 14 karat gold uh, earring and a 14 karat gold necklace. Necklace was 18, the earring was two, and lastly, this one was two bucks in there. Um, and then I got this one, which is a 14 karat gold uh, pearl clasp type keeper thing, shortener, whatever you want to call it. That's a big old bunch of pearls. And then last but not least in there is a kit. So this is like, it doesn't, it's mind boggling. So it's a 14 karat gold necklace, and then you got like a, you got an oyster in there that you do your own pearl. But it says 14 karat gold on there, and I paid five bucks for that. So, crazy.